Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Well, it's time for our final, final reveal of our Unified Scale Automotive Content Creators 55 Ford Panel Truck. But before we do that, I want to give you the inspiration behind the finished product. Most of you, I'm sure, watch Lucasy um, BG, Brian. Uh, over at BG's Model Workshop, and you know they do a couple of podcasts and things. They do a great one that I love called The Model Car Guys on the YouTubes. So um, at the conclusion of the, these shows, which if you haven't been watching them, go back and watch them. You'll really enjoy them. Uh, they're, they're fun, got some great topics they discuss from time to time, uh, and sometimes it's just talk, model car talk, so it's good stuff. Um, but at the conclusion of the show, they oftentimes talk about it being Taco Tuesday. They film on a Tuesday, um, and they'll they'll go have tacos and then go to Andy's Hobby Shop. Um, and sometimes, whether they're going to Andy's or not, they're going to have tacos. And sometimes on Brian's channel, you'll hear him mention, you know, taco time. So that was kind of my inspiration. In fact, in Atlanta this past year, uh, there was a taco truck outside the main entrance to the venue, and I went out there to grab a taco, and Brian had beat me to it. So BG had already been out there and had a taco, said they were really good, So uh, and they were. Um, so that was the inspiration. But I was wondering, what is the magic, what is the mystery with these tacos in Arizona? So I jumped in the Hobby Dude 007 channel van uh, as you see here and, and as you remember that has the mobile workbench in the back <laughs> this was a fun build too and we headed west i wanted to find out about these so when i got there i kind of spied on them as they were finishing up one of their episodes and when they came out they got into this Bee Gees Taco Supremo truck. <laughs> Every day is Taco Tuesday. And I followed them to guess where? Bee Gees Taco Supremo. So there's the story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I thought this time since I had a channel truck, we'd, we'd make kind of make one for BG and have some fun. So uh, let's get the camera turned around and let you take a look at the finished model. Stick around, guys. First up, big thanks to my daughter, Lauren, for making the decals. She cut these from vinyl, and they were kind of dry transfer type, and I think they turned out really great. Um, fun project. Bee Gees Taco Supremo. Taco Tuesday every day. Uh, kind of came up with a number. So, if you want, hey, if you want to order uh, tacos from Bee Gees, uh, 480-555-TACO. <laughs> uh, really cool. And they have a new location in Chandler as well. But uh, this was a just a super fun build. I just wish uh, I'd had everything done in time. A lot of it was my fault. I didn't give Lauren the artwork or the stuff I wanted in, in time so, to get it on time. But it was still fun. The Mexican blanket seat coverings, which is just decals, are from STS Decals. Uh, you can head over there and order those. And they also, in addition to decal, have those in cloth. So you can get the uh, cloth blanket as well. But uh, a super fun build and paying tribute to our buddy BG uh, Brian over at uh, Brian's Model Workshop. Uh, a lot of fun, and we'll do some glamour shots at the end, but we'll also go through a few things. You see the taco in the middle of the uh, grill there, uh, and we'll, we'll go into that. And as I said uh, in the previous video, I cut the uh, cowl vent open and have it have it raised, uh, darkened out the windows. So, uh, BG, those are probably too dark when you're going down the road. So uh, if you ever watch Fridays with Frank, he'll probably nail you uh, for having windows too tinted back there. But uh, fun little build. The dash, again, is, let's see if we can get some close-up. It is uh, the two-tone, the coral blue and uh, white. Well, you can see a little bit there. 
the tail lights and the front markers are just something I picked up at uh, Toledo a number of years ago and um, I think they, they went on there really really well the engine which you saw earlier I'm building a second one I've already got it in primer and it'll be going in the car and the other one uh, which I'll put up here in a second will be put beside it but uh, as you see here we got that vent open um, filled in where the bumpers were going to be just kind of smoothed all that out made it a kind of a mild custom the paint that coral blue kind of a pastel um, and the white with the red artillery wheels and again those wheels came from uh, bandit resins and 3d printing uh, k-dog does just an outstanding job with the, with all of his wheels and these things they're, they're really something um, I was trying to think if there's anything else Tell you what, I'm going to do a real quick slideshow. Uh, the taco there, as you see in this picture, that is made from five thousandths um, sheet stearine, just cut to, uh, I think it's about uh, half an inch, or just under half an inch, and then uh, we folded it over, shaved some plastic for the ingredients, the fillings, dropped all of that down in there and then just put a drop of glue down on top of that and let everything kind of melt together and to stipple the shell to make it look a little re more realistic we use some bondine liquid and just dab the brush the tip the, the bristles of the brush just dabbed it all over it to kind of give it that stippled look then painted it in some Tamiya flesh went over that a little dry brush with some Tamiya clear yellow and um, then just did a, to me, a panel line color in brown, just kind of a wash over that, and it yielded a pretty good result. And then just a dull coat, and then we just glued it in there where the V8 emblem would normally be. But uh, I think it looked pretty good. Uh, kind of set, set the stage there, and it looks good sitting outside the restaurant. But Taco Tuesday, every day, that part of the, the font on the decal, I changed that a little bit, uh, or Lauren found something that's a little bit, little bit topsy-turvy-ish, and uh, that gave it a little bit of a, a different font, a different look, but uh, I like it. I like it. So, Brian, hats off to you, buddy. Let's go have a taco, dude. You're driving. <laughs> okay, guys. Um quick slideshow that goes into this and then some glamour shots but uh, and another enjoyable build uh, whoever does the uh, next uh, USAC build whoever chooses um, if anytime there's gonna be a van or a truck or, or some kind of utility involved in it like that I am pretty sure I'll be doing someone else's channel tribute as well so until then build them guys enjoy have fun um that's what it's all about well let's get into the slideshow and stuff and before we do that be sure you head over to hobby nut models check out mark's inventory supplies all of that kind of stuff uh pick up a model in fact i'm pretty sure he still has some of the 55 ford uh, pickups too so grab you one of those never too late to jump in and have fun with one of these it does build into a really nice truck and if you've seen any of the other guys out there they are some great stuff okay well here's some of the slideshow of the build as well as some glamour shots thanks guys appreciate you love you god bless see ya <laughs> 